Welcome back, everyone. Toys is here, and I'm back yet again with yet another X-Men, the animated series video. And today, very excited because we have a new addition to the whole Marvel animated universe in the form of a brand new 1-6 scale Mondo action figure. We got Jubilee, the heart of the X-Men animated show, right? Very cool, beautiful artwork all over the packaging. This is some premium looking packaging, if I do say so myself. And I just love the fact that it is covered in all kinds of sketches and doodles and animation turnarounds from the various model sheets. So you got all the looks for Jubilee, and I absolutely love that. I love that little behind the scenes, the inner workings, everything that led up to the final product that we see and know and love for X-Men the Animated Series. So for everyone at the bottom of this box, thank you so much for this figure. And lately, I gotta say, everything's been coming up Jubilee, right? Oh, and X-Men, the animated series, of course, what with X-Men 97 coming out very soon. But the package opens up, you get a nice little write-up from Eric and Julia Lewald, and you get a nice uh, open window box, so you can uh, really get to see Jubilee and all the extras that come in. Now, keep in mind, this is the Mondo Deluxe exclusive, so she'll have a few more extra little... Eh, show specific accessories and whatnot, but she does have the chili fries, so that's all important. But there's certainly a lot in the box, and I'm very excited to get in there and check out exactly what this figure has to offer. And if you want to go ahead and read up on old Jubilation Lee, go ahead and pause it right now, and you can take a little look-see. So, this is going to be an absolute blast. I'm very excited. Sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is a look at the brand new Mondo Toys 1-6 scale straight from X-Men, the animated series, Jubilee. And while I got all you mall babes here, I just want to say thanks so much for always checking out my X-Men videos. Now, if you haven't already, please do consider subscribing. Old toys, new toys, daily news updates. Guarantee you'll find something here that you like. Now, here is everything taken out of the packaging, and I'm just gonna tell you right now, I'll save you some time. If you've already ordered this, you're gonna be stoked. If you haven't ordered this, you may want to consider ordering one because it is perfection of the X-Men, the animated series. They nailed it so well, I cannot foresee anything better than this. You have multiple head portraits, they're all painted beautifully, just Stellar. Like, you can't ask for something better on this. From the various true cell shading, right? They actually nailed it. All over the face, the hair, everything. That is Jubilee. Along with the bubblegum chewing head, you have to have a bubblegum head, of course. And it's basically the same exact paint, same exact head portrait, but a nice little sheen to the bubble gum. The bubble gum is not removable, so just be careful. You don't want to knock the head around too much. You get a really cool deep cut, and I mean like deep, deep cut from that last season with Jubilee's Fairy Tale Theater. I'm going to be honest, it's not what I really want to see, especially since it's just the head portrait and not the rest of the costume. But again, Mondo knows what they're doing. I would have much rather preferred this head portrait right here where she's kind of terrified, or if you wanted to go more off model a little bit with Spider-Man the Animated Series. But hey, at least they knows what they're doing and it's something, again, very deep cut and expertly nailed in the likeness. You get a very cool helmeted head Jubilee, which hails from the episode Red Dawn. Again, not exactly something that I'd go, yes, you have to do it, but I love it, and you'll soon see why I love it so much. The cell shading, the purples, everything works for this. And then lastly, you have the glasses down, a little bit of a serious business jubilee, like she just blew up an arcade cabinet, and she's telling the arcade manager to take a hike. Very well done, earrings are painted, everything looks nice. It's just utter perfection. They absolutely nailed the character and colors for Jubilee. You get a couple open hands, which can be also item holding hands, or she's about to spray some fireworks on you kind of hands, cell shaded with black lines. Likewise with the fisted hands, again, nice cell shading. You have a little bit of black to emphasize like a cartoon. Then you have the I touch the VCR slash trying to open the door in the X Mansion, finger pointing hand, right? Where she's got the little fireworks going off right there. I love it. That's very cool. However, one thing, as a nitpick, I would have liked to have seen a little bit more razzle-dazzle at the fingertip, right? Maybe a little bit something more glowy, something like that. But for what it is, I'll totally take it. Now, this 
is the real standout right here. This is where you get the powers and the stars, and you can see that the clear plastic is see-through. They absolutely nailed it. So it's attached to these hands, which I totally dig. You swap them out, you got two of them going on, and uh, yeah, we'll look at those a little bit later. You also get the Slurpee cup. Love that. <laughs> Especially on the top of the cup where one of the little holes is punched. That's a nice little callback, right? I love that. I love just these little accessories that really bring the characters to life. And of course, one of the most important accessories a Jubilee figure could have, the mall chili fries. Now, I'll tell you, I'm not going to say that's exactly chili. I think they went a little overhanded with the red. I get it. It's what it is. But in all cases, yes, small babes do love their chili fries. And... To call back to the helmeted head, you have some knee pads, which are more of a gummy purple plastic, which totally look great. A little bit of cell shading right there with the black. You have the skateboard, which completes the look. You have the wheels, everything else, the trucks. But I will say, for the money spent on this, I think they should have used real wheels, right? Something that spins. Also, the trucks on mine on the front of the board are angled a little bit off. But again, I like the cell shading. I like the look of it. It's a very well done, simplified skateboard, but very much in tune with X-Men the Animated Series. I just wish I could hopefully straighten that truck right there. Now, these effects are very, very well done. These are awesome. The colors, the hands, again, they're attached to the hands, but they just give off that, I have powers, I'm an X-Man, and I can blow up things, not just VCRs. I can't tell you how friggin' rad it is to have X-Men figures with powers, right? And you get two of those, which is stellar. Now, Jubilee does come with a flat black stand. It's more of a doll stand. I'll tell you, I'm not always a huge fan of Mondo stands. They do work, but I think, again, for the money spent, they should have had X-Men, the animated series, and X, something like that, just to personalize it a little bit more, because otherwise, it's just kind of a flat, black, bland stand, right? Say that all in one go. Jubilee, if you don't get it by now, is amazing. This is an amazing figure, an amazing toy, and really worth every penny because, yes, these are more high-end. These are expensive, but it is lovely to see that they spared no expense because they nailed it. They nailed the cell-shaded look of X-Men the Animated Series. She looks like she walked right out. The yellow trench coat, the black lines, then having the cell shaded lines, right? A little bit of paint that emphasizes everything from the yellow on the gloves to the pink on the shirt. Everything is there to suggest that they know what they're doing. They know how to paint this. And it really shows because look at that face right there. That is a very pretty face. They nailed it. I have to tell you though, go really easy right here with these little tabs that are offshoots of her jacket. When you move the arms, you don't want to get them kind of entangled in the joints. Just keep that in mind. Now her yellow trench coat is a softer plastic and you can see that her arms right there, you'll get enough movement out of there to get some really good articulation from her. The elbows are single jointed. She'll spin at the wrists. She'll spin at the biceps, so to speak. And you can really get her going into all of those mutant power poses that you'd want from Jubilee. Nice ab crunch, nice waist rotation. There is a lot of movement to be had in here. And again, I love that the paint matches. They've really nailed every single detail from Jubilee's costume. She has the perfect blue to match for her shorts. Great skin tone to her. Not a whole lot of articulation, we'll say, in the legs, but the knees are perfection. That is so smooth, yet very rigid at the same time. There's no problems. She's pinless, which is lovely to see. Yes, when moving her around, the articulation won't always look the best, but she has some boot swivel. She also has the feet rotation up, down, off to the sides. So again, they nailed it. This is an amazing X-Men, the animated series figure, through and through, again, I could not be happier with how it turned out. In some instances, I kind of had to push some of the parts back into place, just FYI, straight from the factory. So just kind of helping them out a little bit there. So don't go too crazy right off the bat when moving every single joint. But I had zero problems. Nothing broke. Nothing snapped. It's great. So hands down, this is one of the best that they've done in terms of their 1-6 scale figures. I mean, just the colors alone, underside of the jacket the glasses that she's got on, they absolutely nailed it. And just to kind of show you, in true 
90s fashion. You have Jubilee sporting all her extreme skateboarding, knee pads, the helmets. She's got to be safe, right? It's a kid's cartoon after all. Then she's got her Slurpee cup. Glasses are down. She's fighting with the mall manager. I will tell you, though, with items like the Slurpee cup, I wish that she had more grabby type hands. It's a little bit loose in her hands. I guess I have to deal with it, right? Because that's what we got. The bubblegum head looks great as well. Now, the only detraction I would say would be this head. Again, it's nice to see a deep cut, but I think I would have preferred maybe a glasses off head and then a pair of glasses, right? The powers, those are amazing. Those are killer. They are certainly not too heavy for her hands, which is nice to see. And you can just have her totally shooting off her firework effects. I absolutely love that. These are hands down some of the best that she has, right? You could actually kind of pose her in certain circumstances. Maybe she's trying to blow open a door, something like that. So they will work with you in every pose that you could pretty much think of. But I got to tell you, as much as I like those, this is the money shot right here. That is the opening of X-Men, the animated series, just unleashing all of those fireworks. I absolutely love this. This is the pose right here. This is where she'll be posed on my shelf. I love the way that this looks. They nailed it. The look, the colors, the head portrait, everything is X-Men, the animated series, Jubilee. She walked right out of the old 90s cartoon. And just to kind of give her a little bit of edge... She's got the Slurpee cup. She's got her mall chili fries. She's got the bubble gum. A little bit of attitude. Yeah, that's Jubilee right there through and through. Now, just to kind of show you a comparison, we have the Mondo 1 6th, and then you have the recent Hasbro Marvel Legends VHS Retro X-Men, the animated series line. It is night and day, but you really have to look at it in this sense. Here's more of a $32 figure, and then you have over a $200 figure. So that's the night and day difference. A lot more paint, a lot more detail, a lot more spot-on likeness, but Mondo certainly nailed it. And just to kind of show you a comparison, I still have that Wolverine. He's all boxed up. He's on the bed. I couldn't get him out of that box. I couldn't bring myself to do it. However, I have seen photos, and I'll tell you that the scale might be a little bit off compared to Wolverine and Jubilee. I think that he might be a little bit too tall because then you'd need the other characters to be a lot taller than Wolverine. You get what I'm saying there. But in either case, at least the paint, the cell shading, they nailed it through and through on both of these figures. So that will wrap it up for my look at the brand new Mondo Toys 1 6th scale X-Men, the animated series, Jubilee. And of course, you've heard my thoughts and now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything X-Men, the animated series. Are you excited for X-Men 97? I am. I just uh, hope they don't screw it up, right? Fingers crossed. So I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food, but most importantly, remember, next up, Magneto, Gambit, and then who else would you like to see get the Mondo 1-6 scale treatment? And when they do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.